Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible. Today we're doing the review of the Reebok CrossFit Lite TR 2.0. Uh, this review is going to be a little bit shorter just because there's not a whole lot of difference between the original TRs and the TR 2.0s. So first off, the name is a little misleading because these are a powerlifting shoe. They're geared towards powerlifting. You could probably use them for a CrossFit workout and I have, but they are not the best shoes for CrossFit workouts, mainly because the ventilation is not that great and uh, they're also not that flexible, so you're not going to want to do a whole lot of moving around in these shoes. But what makes them not good for CrossFit shoes makes them excellent for powerlifting shoes. The, the base is a wide and flat stable base. It's about a 3 millimeter drop. Excellent shoe to squat in. I personally prefer flat shoes to squat in. Of course, deadlifting, pressing, it's not going to really change too much on your, uh, your bench, but some people like to use holy shoes when they bench just for a little bit more leg drive. I don't really care too much for it. Uh, the benefits of having this shoe is that, once again, you've got that wide, flat base. You've got these flanges on the outsole that kind of help you with stability. The bottom of the outsole has these suction cup-like things. The design is a little bit more robust than your typical chuck. The upper is this waxed canvas upper as opposed to the original uh, leather upper. Now the last on this shoe is a little bit smaller than on the original light TRs. These are a little bit more narrow of a shoe. These are size 9 and my previous ones were size 9. Uh, my light TRs before fit a little bit loose and now these fit a little bit tight. It's not uncomfortable but it's definitely worth noting. The insole is the exact same insole, it's actually glued in there. So See if I can pull it out now. Uh, it's just a really light blue, but it's the same insole that you'll find on everything up to the Nano 4.0 had the same insole. So squatting, deadlifting, benching, everything feels really good in these shoes, and these personally are my pick for a powerlifting shoe. If you're looking into the CrossFit Light TR, it's probably worth it that you just buy the 2.0s. They're $10 less, um, and they have the added benefits, there's not a whole lot different with it, like I said, but unless you really like the leather, you might as well just stick to the 2.0. Oh, you've also got these rivets that keep the shoelaces in a lot better than the original model did. It's an excellent looking shoe. You can get away with wearing it on the street and no one's gonna think too much of it. And I highly recommend this shoe. Is it a CrossFit shoe? No. Is it a versatile shoe? No. But if you are into powerlifting, this is going to be the shoe for you. As always, guys, look for the review on joelxfit.wordpress.com. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.